Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu if you are new here. And today we have another monthly makeup basket or shop my stash where I talk about what the products I've been using the past two weeks, which is here. Um, I kind of tell you my thoughts and I show you some looks that I took as well, uh, photos of looks that I took. And I'll picture them here um, so you can see the looks that I created with all the makeup that I used. And then we're going to go over to my makeup drawers and pick out some new makeup. Now this all looks very tiny because I went on holidays for one of the two weeks. So I picked lots of mini products. So you can kind of see this looks a lot less than what it usually looks like. Um, but that's just because everything is tiny. So we're going to go through all the items and I can show you some holiday looks. I was not amazing at taking photos you know sometimes i just went out the door real in a rush because we had a reservation um i tend to forget when i have both children and i'm leaving the house i forget to take pictures of my makeup so even though we see a lot of pictures i do take some i really do try and take some pictures i don't take all the pictures of my makeup um i wear makeup i want to say like 70 to 80 percent of the week because I enjoy it, basically. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's get into it. I'm going to start with my two primers. So here we have the Hourglass Mineral Veil. Uh, is it Mineral Primer Veil? And I use this um, when I went out for dinner. Or if I just wanted makeup that was going to be nice and long wear, this is what I used. And I use this quite a few times, which is good. Because I was avoiding using this for so long. Um, I've actually used about half of it, I can see now. Um, because it's such a nice fancy one and I'm like what am I doing just use it Sam so yeah I'm actually about halfway now so um, that'd be a good product to finish up and then I had my Emco Beauty hydrating face primer I'm actually going to keep this in because you can see I've only got a little bit left this is such a tiny product it's really good for hydrating um, and then it leaves a, t a little bit of a sticky base which is perfect for makeup application so I wore this at daytime generally and that one more at night time then I had three foundations and the first one I'm going to talk about is the Tarte Hydroflex Tarte C Hydroflex I have the shade 12N and mm, I don't love this I just feel like, yeah, like it's okay, but I don't know, it just looks a little flat on my face. It could just be my skin type. Um, I have normal to drier skin. I'm currently just leaving summer now, now we're in autumn. So I have been a little bit oilier. Um, no, I just, I don't know. I just, it's one of those things I could live without. Um, but I did wear this during the day. And then I had my Hourglass Illusion in the shade Ivory. This is one of my favorite foundations. Um, I absolutely love this. So I wore this um, during the day and night. To me, I can do both. If I wanted my skin to look flawless, basically, I wore that. And then lastly, I had the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear in the shade 3. This I wore mainly at the beginning of the holiday because I was freshly tanned. And this is a lot darker. Um, this is a good shade match for me regularly, so I wore this towards the end of the holiday. Um, and then I wore this in the beginning, and this was my nighttime foundation. It's more of a full coverage. I really, really love this foundation. Perfect for travel, especially for nighttime. I really, really love this. And I had two concealers. I kind of had like a, a mixture of day and night. This is my Cossus Revealer Concealer in the shade number two. This was my day wear. And then this was my nightwear, the Tom Ford Emotion Proof in the shade 2 Buff. Um, that was basically it. Uh, this is also my project pan, so I'm close to finishing this. So that's going to go back to my project pan. And then this one will go back. Uh, I actually have two more concealers. What am I talking about? These are my two new Bobbi Brown. I have the Corrector Stick in the shade Light Bisque. So under the makeup. Or I wore this if I was wearing no makeup, just in my inner, under my inner corner of my under eye for brightening um, or counteracting any darkness. And then I have the concealer stick in the shade Cool Sand. So I tend to wear this one a little bit more, but I recently used this in a video trying new makeup. So I'll link that there for you if you want to see my thoughts on this and the application as well to see how it looks. 
um, but overall I really really enjoy these these are for my handbag well more this one for my handbag uh, should we just get I'm not really going to talk about the eyeliners I'll just tell you if I use them uh, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk I think I used once um, I used both red lip liners from Lime Prime this is just my brown eyeliner black eyeliner from Urban Decay and then my everyday lip liner from Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 3C. It's one of my absolute favorites and it goes with a lot of neutral nude tones for me. So I wore all of those. Then I had my brows. So I had the um, brow glue. I find this a little bit gluggy and like it shows up on my brows. It's not my favorite, um, but it does a good job. And then my Ulta 3 shape, Shade and Shape Brow Styler in Soft Brown which is a really nice, easy brow. So that's why I took that. I had my eye primer from NYX, the Ultimate Shadow and Liner Primer. I quite like this, it's quite new to me. My mascara, I'm actually gonna throw this out. I think I'm done with it in terms of usage. Like it's just starting to really dry up and I've had it for a while and I wear it all the time. So I think it's just time to throw it out. It's the Kevin Aquan Volume Mascara, I love this. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna declutter it. It's just, you know, it's just getting to that point. There's still technically product in there, but it's minimal and it, 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 she's done. So that's going. And then I had my little Fenty Beauty mascara, the full frontal. I actually really love this. I'm going to keep it in. I'm going to try and finish it um, so I can just get through some mascaras. I have so many new ones that I want to use. So I'm going to put this back and try and finish it. I, I actually really like it. If I didn't have so many, I would purchase the full size. Uh, then we have my very dirty setting spray, the Milani Make It Last, really like it. I might actually leave this in and try and finish it. Yeah, let's do that, I'm gonna leave that. And then we have my powder, my Hourglass Veil. I bought this for the holiday, but I absolutely love it. Oh, and it's a good amount of product. I really enjoy using this for day and night because it's lightweight and it's got a little, little bit of luminosity in the fact that it doesn't look um, shiny, but it's not matte. So it's really, really perfect for mature skin, dry skin, or if you just want something that is really, really light. So that is really nice. Then I have my lips, oh, no, I have a lot of face palettes. So I had one blush from Benefit, the California. I think I used this once or twice. I like barely use this, which is surprising. I used a lot of the face palettes, I think that's why. But yes, I did use it, but not much. Then my lips, I think I used all but my, I did, I used everything but my NARS Star Woman. Not because I don't like it, I absolutely love it, but I also had two other reds. So it just came down to the fact that I wore the other reds <laughs> um, over this one. So I'm gonna put that one back. I wore this, I think only once. This is the OXX Demi Matte Lip Cream. There's no shade name, it came in a four pack. I um, really like it, it's a nice nude. And then I have my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Shade Unknown. I think I wore this a few times. Um, really, really like that too. Then my three Shiseidos. I wore these the most. Um, they're very comfortable to wear, but they're still long wear matte. But they go on so creamy. This is Slingback. Uh, this is a nice, um, I wore this during the day kind of red. Um, I have Disrobed, which was my nude that I wore the most. Really, really nice. And then I had Dark Fantasy, which I wore once going out for dinner. So yeah, that's all my lippy lippy. And then we just have eye and face palette. So let's do eyes, because I actually have three face palettes. I had the um, Mood Sticks Magnetic, what is it called? Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in Twilight. I use this quite a lot. I've so this is in my project pen and I neglected it for a while, but I'm getting to the point where I actually really enjoy using this with a bit of bronzer in the crease um, to warm it up because it's quite cool toned. But I really, really liked using that. And that's my project pen, so that's gonna go back there. And then my Laura Mercier Eau Naturelle Caviar Stick. I wore this a lot as well when I was doing Very Natural. That's all I have left. Um, when I was doing Very Natural makeup and I didn't want any eyeshadow, I'm just like, going out down the street, but I've got some makeup on. 
and this is what I wore. I am very close to finishing this. Should I put this back in my shop, my stash? Nah, I will probably put that in a project pan soon, I reckon. Let's go to my two eyeshadow palettes. I had the Fenty Beauty number no. two um, cool neutrals. I think I wore this once, but what I actually did is I wore this shade a few times. I mixed it with the um, other eyeshadows. I used this as a bit of a mixture because this was a really nice light shade for my inner corner. I think I wore this shade twice. I did the same look twice when I was away. Um, but yeah, that's a really nice palette. And then number seven, Cadet. Um, I used this one a few times as well. I like to mix this as well. I did a really nice look where I used that as a liner and then I just had these two over the lid. So just these three. Um, which is really nice because when you look at this palette, you tend to look at these shades here um, But I went for the navy and brown and I actually really liked it. They go perfectly in there And then I had my face palette. So I had one cream palette from Ulta 3 the contour goals palette I wore this to death. You might not be able to tell but I did actually I'm starting to get some dents in it And this is pretty new to me um, this is only a couple of months old, so I like to mix these two, um, obviously on the day, depending which blush I use, and then you've got that highlighter goes with that, and that highlighter goes with that. So um, I use this pretty much every day, and I just love it. It's so easy, and you've got literally everything there for you. Then I have my NARS Summer Lights palette. And oh, I'm just so in love with this palette, like so in love. Highlighter, I use, this was my one bronzer that I had that I used every day, um, apart from the cream here. Um, and then these are all eyeshadows, which I just adore. I love this palette so much, I will never let it go. Maybe one day when it's like incredibly old, but until then, I wanna keep it. <laughs> and then lastly, my Kevin Aquan Jewel Pop Face and Eye Palette. I've just really found quite a, a love affair with this palette. Um, I had it for so long and never used it. And I've had it in my rotation before this one. So I've had it for a whole month now. And I just really love it. So this is a contour blush with shimmer and matte. You can mix them or do one or the other. And then the eyeshadows. I'm not mad about these two. But these three are just stunning. I wore these two the most. Probably this the most. I just love this eyeshadow, this whole face palette so much. So that's everything. Let's go over to my makeup drawers and pick some new makeup, shall we? No theme, we're just gonna pick whatever I wanna pick. Okay, we have primers, setting sprays, uh, pressed powder and loose powder. So we're not gonna pick a setting spray because I kept the Milan one in. Um, let's pick uh, two primers. I think I want my 4th Ray Beauty Turmeric Face Oil. I just love this and I want to put it back in. I actually put my Charlotte Tilbury back in. I have been thinking about it. The Hollywood Flawless Filter, I have the shade number 2. I think I just kind of think I'll enjoy using it. So that's that one there. I actually want to put this one in. This is my Sephora smoothing and brightening powder i want to expand the pan a little bit um, i've been using so many other ones that i've kind of neglected this one and i wouldn't mind finishing a powder soon so let's add that one in and then for loose i might actually put in um my cover effects light this is the matte one um just to get some more uses out of it you can see i've used a bit of it um, but I would like to finish this too. It's getting a bit old. Okay, so for foundation we have medium to full and then light to medium. Uh, uh, let's put the new Mud Flawless Finish Foundation. This is an Australian one you can get at Woolworths. I have the shade, I think it's Ivory. Yeah, Ivory. Um, really, really nice. I would say medium coverage, nice bit of dewiness, but not too much. Really, really nice foundation. Uh, this is my new Bobbi Brown. I, I want to play with this a bit. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation SPF 15. I have the shade Cool 004 Alabaster. And I got this one free from work. So I'm yet to use it. And I'm hoping that it's a good color for me. I've never used it. So let's add that one in too. Yes, let's go concealer. Oh, let's put in my Revlon. 
This is the Colorstay Skin Awaken 5-in-1. I have the shade 015, which is, I think, the lightest non-color correcting one. There is a pink one as well, so I'm going to add that one in. I think I'm going to add in my NYX one because that's the one I really want to use. So I'm going to do that. This is the Bear With Me Serum Concealer Serum. I have the shade... I know I bought the shade Fair, but I can't see it on there, but it is shade Fair, so I'll add that one in too. Um, and then face palettes. I haven't used this in a really long time. This is the NARS Claudette. That's a potential. It's kind of just a blush though. Should that just be in the blush? It's not really a face palette. Yeah, I'm going to put that in the blush section. Blush section. Uh, let's do the Charisma Contour Palette from Kaleidos. It doesn't exist anymore, but I really enjoy it. Powder, contour, bronzer. Let's put that one in. This is my new Natasha Denona Glam Face. I have to put this in. I've only used the blush and the highlighter. I haven't used the eyeshadows yet. So let's put this one in too. I think I need to do a declutter soon. I just feel like there's some things I don't need anymore. And I'm running out of space, which is not good. I don't like that. Let's start with cream products over here. Then we have powder highlight, powder bronzer, powder blush. So I do like to start with cream first. Um, let's add this glow stick. The Rimmel Glow Stick that I did in my collab video with Tanika. I will link that here for you if you'd like to see that. She's another Australian YouTuber. Um, I have the shade Bold and it's so pretty. I don't know if you can even really see anything. But it's very pretty, take my word for it. Actually, let's put in this M Code Beauty. Um, Cheek and lip tint in the shade Tango. When I um, did my Emco Beauty video, this was probably the most favorited product that was left in the comments. And I'd have to agree, it was probably my, one of my favorite products too. It's so beautiful. Um, and it looks equally good on the lips as it does. Oh, I just really wanted to come out. So a lot just came out. It looks equally good on the cheeks as it does the lips. And it's dewy and juicy, but still pigmented, but not too pigmented. It's so pretty. So we're going to put that one in. I've got a blush, a highlight. Let's do a contour. Oh, let's do the new Emco Beauty wand. This is the Emco Beauty Instant Contour Beauty Wand. And I have the shade Light Medium. So it's really nice for just natural makeup days. It's definitely not a contour. It's more of a bronzer. But I'm okay with that because it looks pretty. I like that. I might put this one in. Let's put in the Milk Makeup Rally. It's more of a pinky shade. Yeah, let's do that one. And that's also lip and cheek, I think. Um, let's go powder highlight. You know what? I haven't used my Diamond Bomb in so long. This is the How Many Carrots from Fenty Beauty. I can never open this though and I've got no nails right now. So let's put this one in. Oh, and this is really pretty in the inner corner too. So it's kind of got a dual purpose for me. Yeah, let's do that one. I've got a matte bronzer, so I want something more glowy. You know what? Let's do the glowish by Huda. That's a really nice one. It looks so light on the skin, but it looks beautiful on the on the face. Um, and then let's go a blush. I actually want to mine something really neutral. What have I got? I've got a cream in the Natasha Denona. I've got a lot of cream. Okay, so I'm going to pick two powdered ones. I'm going to pick the Balm, Balm Beach blush. I love this one because it's a perfect neutral everyday kind of blush. It is just so nice on my fair skin tone. Doesn't show up, but it looks so good on the skin, on the face. And then I might pick maybe one that's a little bit loud. Or I could do this one. I do like a loud blush. Yeah, let's go loud. Let's go loud. Let's go this one from Colourpop. This is the Fighting Crime 
from Powder Puff Girls. Okay, so here are my single eyeshadows. I just did a video on my favorite neutral single eyeshadows. I'll also link that. I'll be doing lots of linking in this video. <laughs> um, I want to use... These are new. These two from OXX Studio. I have used this one, but I haven't used this one. I might put this one in just because I haven't used it. This is the Liquid Eyeshadow Duo. I think it's called Smoke Black Matte which is really dry. I don't think I'm going to like it. I only paid a dollar for it, so no love lost. The pink one was beautiful, but swatching this, it kind of feels like tar. But I'm going to use it and see if I how I feel. And then this is the silver side. The silver feels okay. It's just the black feels a little, I don't know, how's your father? I might put in Kiko Milano. This is the shade 200. It's a wet and dry eyeshadow. And it's one of the most beautiful eyeshadows of all time. Look at that. So pretty. That actually looked really nice with this. Hmm, that's a look. And my beloved, um, my beloved lipsticks now. There was one that I definitely wanted to put in. Yes, this red one. This is my ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Day Trip. It's one of my favorite reds. And I'm loving wearing like a really nice wearable red during the day when I go shopping. And this is it for me. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna put that one in. This is a new gloss for me from Maybelline, the Lifter Gloss. Uh, this is the new bronzing range. And I have the shade Sun which is the lightest shade of all the bronzers. They go quite bronzy. This is quite light. Not really much color, but it's really nice. I want Shantakai. This is new to me. This is the shade I can't pronounce. So there you go, read it. And I haven't worn this yet and it's bloody beautiful. Look, I know they look similar, but this is definitely more orange and more sheer and shiny. This is a matte, so different occasion, different day. Can't wait. Mm, maybe sex pot. I'm doing a lot of lipstick, aren't I? No, I've got... Mm, actually, I haven't worn this one in a while. Let's do L'Oreal um, I Am Power, which is a liquid lipstick. I tend to pick a lot of lipstick. Just FYI. Isn't she pretty? And I actually put this one in. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I don't know what collection this is, but it's like a balm. I could pop that one in my handbag. And I think I want one more. Actually, I want this one. This is the Flower Beauty mix and matte lip duo i hate this but i love this yeah that's a nice addition yeah let's do that okay let's go to eyeshadow all right i actually have no idea the eyeshadows i'm gonna pick sometimes i have an idea i have my glam palette i might swatch that one so I didn't swatch it. I'm so impressed with the highlighter and the blush, like so impressed. And I have not used these eyeshadows yet, but I cannot wait because they look phenomenal. So I might use an oldie. I might use like a golden oldie that I love. This is my Zoeva Blank Fusion. It's one of my ride or dies. I think Zoeva is going under, in my personal opinion. This doesn't exist anymore, but I love it. This is my wedding day eyeshadow palette. I wore these shades down here and this one. Um, so this looks like a white, but it's actually got a beautiful yellow shift. It's very flattering. I just love this palette. Such an underrated formula from Zoeva. 
I'm going to get more use out of it because it's starting to get too old to use. I think it's going to be one of those palettes that I keep though for nostalgia because I did wear it on my wedding day. Oh, I did want to put this one in, in actually. This one is my BYS Noosa palette. I've been thinking about it and I missed it. Um, so this is really good for every day, but I've only used this in one rotation. I didn't get to use all the colors, so I want to use more. I've got like silvers down here, purples, blues. It's such a nice palette. You can get this at Kmart if you're Australian. Or you can get it online. And it's just, every time I use this palette, I was always really happy with it. It's not revolutionary, but it, it does what I want it to, which is just nice soft simple looks for the daytime look at that that's a better you can kind of see how beautiful that silver is i didn't really show up did it that actually look really nice on the eye i think see not bad hey not bad for $16. And I'll pick one really fun color palette. Color story, I think. Um, yeah, let's do this one. This is my Beauty Bay collab with Nikki Tutorials. I hate these bloody mirror things. They're super annoying. I do not use it. Um, but let's do a few swatches of these. It's such a pretty palette. gels and then look at these crazy colors that purple is really quite stunning and this red oh yeah baby I need to do just a straight up full red look hey oh look at those colors next to each other it's so pretty. Oh, see, this is very inspiring to me. All right. Okay, well, that is all my makeup that I'm going to be paying for the next two weeks. Let me know your thoughts. Have I picked too much makeup? Most likely. <laughs> I always do that, but I enjoy using it. Even if I use it once, I've pulled it out and I've been inspired to use my products. And I've got a bit of old, got a bit of new. Love the mixture. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.